we're thinking 10 years down the road, getting the community together to have conversations, to think about these little things, but that's where it starts. When a person is fully supported in their identity, they're able to contribute more to society. If they're constantly feeling at odds and feeling at struggle and feeling um, you know, that people are targeting them or they're um, under a lot of scrutiny, then they don't really, you know, they're not going to be excelling academically. They're not really going to be thinking of, you know, a new invention or a new business or a new anything. They're just kind of keep their head down and just do the minimum to get by. That place that our community is in, not having the organizations be able to fully do that, I believe it's holding our community back from really reaching its full potential and in that way really having a lot more to contribute to Minnesota. So the three areas that we're looking for um, to indicate that we're being successful is a reduction in the Muslim poverty rate, an increase of women's involvement in social institutions and community organizations, and thirdly, an increased um, engagement or activity in the arts and humanities within the Muslim community, um, and use our voice and our knowledge and our skills and our talents to really allow people to get out of that cookie cutter type box and I think the whole you know kind of country is going through that experience too with the recession and everything is that okay these steps that we thought would get us to you know the white picket fence and the happy life um, may not be the steps anymore so we're just thinking of ways to kind of accelerate that um, especially since so many other immigrant communities we have as examples who've already gone through it so how can we move through that process faster.